welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see, I've got two electric pencil sharpeners sitting here. I've not yet taken them out of the box because you all know when I do my video reviews, I like to show you exactly how something comes to me or how it comes packaged and how it would look when you receive it in the mail as well. Now, y'all are probably surprised because you see me sitting here with electric pencil sharpeners. <laughs> And you all know that I absolutely love my Doll 133, and this is my favorite pencil sharpener. I'm going to tell you right now, I will never get rid of this thing, and if something were to happen to it, I would be purchasing another one because this pencil sharpener is absolutely amazing, and it is the only thing that has ever saved my Prismacolors from breaking. <laughs> so I will never, ever, ever get rid of this, but... This company reached out to me and it was kind of a coincidence because I've started having some issues with my hands and I know a lot of you that watch my videos and you've seen me recommend the Doll 133. I've had quite a few of you tell me that you've got pain in your hands and it's difficult for you to use something that has the uh, hand crank on it like the Doll 133 does. I started having issues with my hand and I started getting pains like right in here and I don't know exactly what it is. I work out a lot and I lift heavy weights so that may have something to do with it but I actually went online and I started looking at electric pencil sharpeners and I know a lot of people recommend the Afmat pencil sharpener and say that it is really, really great. So I actually, a while ago, purchased this one. No matter where I put this little dial down here that is supposed to be for sharper or a more blunt, blunt tip, it does not stop with my Prisma colors. It will just keep on going. <laughs> and eat them up. I don't know. I didn't send it back and I figured I'd keep it. Maybe I could use it for my oil-based pencils or my budget pencils and so that's what I've been doing with it and my kids have been able to use it as well. So I have this one but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So when this company reached out to me, we went back and forth in emails for quite some time because when it comes to pencil sharpeners, I'm very, very picky. <laughs> Those of you that have been watching my videos for quite some time, you probably know that. But I am very, very picky, and if a pencil sharpener does not have the exact features that I'm looking for, if it does not have auto stop, if it doesn't have different ways to charge it, I probably am not going to be interested. We are going to take a look at these today. I am going to show you some of the different features. The company was willing to send me two sharpeners so that my subscribers can have some choices. And I thought that was really, really nice of them. And this way also it allows me to let you know which one works best, which one I prefer. And I will still go over all the features of the two different pencil sharpeners. And those of you that are looking for an electric pencil sharpener, you can make a determination on your own after watching this video review and decide which one you feel would be best for you. Whether or not it has to do with pricing and what you're able to afford because both of these pencil sharpeners do have a very big difference in cost. So whether it has to do with that or the features on each one of these pencil sharpeners, you can, just by watching my review, determine which one you feel like would be best for you. But we're going to test these pencil sharpeners out on quite a few different pencils today, and we are going to see exactly how they work. We're going to see which one of these is auto-stop, and if they stop, when I would prefer them to stop. <laughs> because you all know if they don't, that's probably going to be a deal breaker for me. So let's go ahead and and take these out of the boxes, take a look at them and talk about them a little bit, see what different features they have and test them on some pencils. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's unbox this one first. This is the smaller of the two. It does say that you can adjust the pencil sharpener, whether you want a blunt, a medium, or a sharp lead on your pencil. You can use four AA batteries, which are not included. It also does come with a um, plug. 
so that you could also plug it into the wall. And then it just gives you some directions here and it tells you plug in and press pencil into pencil hole or sharpener. It will start to work and it will stop automatically. So we're gonna test that out and see. You can choose how you want the tip of your pencil. We will try out each one. And then it says that it's supposed to auto stop. So we're gonna test that out and we are going to see. And then on this side of the box, you can see you've got this cute little smiley face and they're thanking you for your purchase. And then it gives you their website. And then it says, happy with your purchase, tell your friends and families, and share your shopping experience on Amazon. So if you do order this pencil sharpener and you really like it, it's very important to go ahead and leave a review. And then if you have an issue, they're giving you their email address so that you can write to their support team. And I will tell you just by the back and forth in email, they have been very respondent. And I just think it was so nice of them to go ahead and send me two pencil sharpeners so I can compare the two and show the different features and see which one I liked best and that way it will make it a lot easier too for all of you that are watching to be able to determine which one is the best fit for you. So let's go ahead and take this one out of here. This one is quite small. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference on camera but when I pull out the other one we'll put them together and we will see the differences. So it comes with the cord here. Let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic. And let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm hoping once I plug this in that it is going to reach <laughs> to keep it in focus of the camera. <laughs> but this one is supposed to take batteries too. I'm wondering if I have any batteries. So if you take a look at the bottom of the pencil sharpener, it looks like this is a button here that you could push to eject the lead if you were to have a jam. So when this sharpener was sent to me and they let me choose the sharpeners and the colors, this one was actually available in this color you're seeing here, this like um, gray color that is really pretty. But right now on the website, it looks like they have blue, black, and white. I didn't want to get blue because I figure blue kind of really stands out on my desk if I really like this sharpener and I want to use it. But if we look down here, we've got this little button to push here. And then this must be where you put the batteries. So it's got the space here for the um, four AA batteries. So it is battery operated as well as um, plug-in. And then to put it back, you would just slide it back into those three holes. So if you look on the side, you've got the three choices here. So this would be blunt and then the center would be medium, and then over here would be the sharpest lead. It looks like it has a safety up here that slides back and forth. So if you have kids around, like your children or your grandkids, it looks like you could just keep that covered if it was on your desk, and then open it when you want to use it. Right now on Amazon, this particular pencil sharpener is $13.99. And looking at this online, you can see here that this one has the USB adapter. You can plug this into the wall, but it also shows a picture where you could use the USB adapter and actually charge it from your computer. So the cord here that it comes with is going to be 39.7 inches long. So we will see if I could plug this in so that we could test it out. Let me go ahead and open the other pencil sharpener first so that we can put both sharpeners next to one another and see how they work and how they perform and the difference in features. So you could probably tell that there was a difference in the sizes of the boxes of both of these sharpeners. And this one is rather small, like I said earlier. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. This one is going to be the more expensive one. This one right now on Amazon is $21.59. So let's go ahead and read some of the features of this one and take a look at the box before I pull it out. So it says, proprietary technique, sharpens pencils quickly, press to start the machine, durable steel helical cutter, exclude broken lead automatically. So just like the other one, it has where you can eject anything that gets stuck inside the, um, the blade or the cutter, as they're calling it. 
large capacity pencil shavings container. So this one is going to have a larger container to hold your shavings rather than the other one. I would imagine with the other one you're going to probably have to empty your container quite a bit more because it is much smaller but that also takes up less room on your desk. So if you're looking for something that takes up less space on your desk, you may be interested in the other one. And it's got the USB adapter here. And then let's go ahead and pull out the sharpener. Okay, so as you can see, this one is much taller. I'll hold this one up over here. And so you can see that there is quite a big difference between these sharpeners as far as size. Let's go ahead and take it out of the bag. And you could see that it was really nicely packaged too. But right away looking at this one, it looks like it does have the adjustment so that you can decide whether you want a more blunt tip or a sharper tip. If we turn this, here we have a one, and then we have a two, and then we have a three. So in terms of being able to decide how blunt or sharp you want the lead on your pencil, they are both pretty much the same. But you can see that you've got a much bigger container here on this one to hold your shavings, and this one has a very small container. And so that would just mean that you would have to make sure you emptied it. And we all know how important it is to make sure that you don't leave a lot of shavings um, in there because that will jam up any sharpener that you're using. This one here is going to have a built-in lithium battery. And then you can see that it comes with the USB. So this one is actually going to be rechargeable. And if you wanted to charge it, I think that you could probably charge it this way if you wanted to using just this regular AC adapter and it would probably charge that way. But this one doesn't come with the AC adapter like the other one does. So the AC adapter came with the smaller one and this one just comes with the actual um, USB. And most of us have a um, charging block and so that probably isn't a problem or most of us have a computer to be able to um, charge it. With the smaller one, you're gonna get um, 3,000 plus sharpens, but with this bigger jar link pencil sharpener, you're gonna get 5,000 plus sharpenings. The other difference is that this pencil sharpener here is going to take um, your pencils that are anywhere from six millimeters to 12 millimeters. And this one here, I think is just going to take your smaller pencils. And we'll have to test these out too on the um, Brute Fooner pencils because those are my square pencils. And so I really wanna know if they are going to take some oddly shaped um, pencils. I did pull out the instructions for both of these sharpeners. So these are the instructions for this one. And I know that is like such a big deal with the um, Doll 133, which is still and always will be my favorite, but it doesn't come with directions. And so many people have complained about the fact that it doesn't come with directions. So I actually made a video showing exactly how to use this pencil sharpener, how to empty it, and just everything. I, I actually called it everything about the doll 133, <laughs> I think is the title of the video, because it's literally everything about this doll 133 sharpener. And I know that it's helped so many of you to figure this pencil sharpener out because so many of you had um, issues or thought your pencil sharpener was broken and then watched my video and you were like, oh my goodness, <laughs> it was just something I was doing. So I'm glad that video was helpful for you, but not to fear, this one does come with very thorough directions. So the directions for this one are gonna tell you all about the pencil sharpener and it just tells you that it does have the power supply, it is AC operated, it does have the USB and it takes the four AA batteries. It tells you that it has the auto ejection of the broken lead, so if your broken lead gets stuck, in the knife holder when sharpening, then you will just press that button at the bottom of the sharpener and it should pop the broken lead right back out. It does also mention on here that the sharpener has a safety switch. So unless this is fully in place and it's closed, 
then you're not going to be able to use the pencil sharpener and that is just a safety feature and I would think that's a very important safety feature as well just for um, you know kids and whatever if you've got kids coming in and out of your office I know my grandkids come in here a lot so that is a really good feature to have but reading through all of these instructions on here this pencil sharpener here does not talk about the blade being replaceable so I'm really not sure on this one if the blade is replaceable but it tells you exactly how to clean it and everything else so that is really really important this one has really great directions here and then for this bigger sharpener the directions are very very thorough it talks about all the different features of the pencil sharpener here so it does tell you that you could sharpen anything from a six millimeter to 12 millimeter lead pencils your colored pencils and your charcoal pencils it also mentions the auto stop feature and then the ways to power it are the rechargeable battery the USB the AC adapter and it is portable and easy to use so I would assume once this one is charged you can basically um, bring it with you or move it around or keep it right by where you're using your colored pencils but this one also is battery operated so if you had batteries in it it would it would make that one portable as well and then this one here does have an Android charging port so if if you ever were to lose the connector that it came with I would assume that you could just get another connector on Amazon that was for Android and it, you would still be able to um, charge up your pencil sharpener and this one does mention that it has the replaceable blade and it actually on here gives you all of the instructions on how to replace the blade so both of these will auto eject your lead if something were to get caught in your helical blade I've got this one all plugged up so it's charging the lithium battery you could see the little blue light here that is blinking and what that means is that the pencil sharpener is charging and then when it has a full and complete charge it will just go straight blue and then when the battery becomes exhausted it will start with this blue blinking again and that is when it's time to charge it so I grabbed quite a few different pencils here I've got some of the square brute funers I have a couple color pencils because those were not yet sharpened I've got some brand new Prisma colors that are fresh out of the box and then I have some Arteza pencils and I actually broke the tip on the Arteza pencils because I really want to test out this pencil sharpener and see how it performs but let's go ahead and try this one out first and I think I'm gonna have to figure out how to uh, plug this one in because this one I actually have my computer sitting right here to the side my laptop and so it was an easy reach to be able to get this one um, charged up so you are able to charge this using your computer which is a really great feature so let's go ahead and test this out I'm gonna put it over here on one and we're gonna see if it will automatically stop at a um, more blunt lead so let me go ahead and try and remember this is the one that will take anywhere from six millimeter to 12 millimeter so it should work just as well on all of these pencils let's go ahead and start with a prisma color though because y'all know how paranoid I am about my prisma colors and I'm going to take a brand new one and I'm gonna put it in this pencil sharpener and we're gonna see how it works it was not stopping okay so the auto stop did not stop I've got this on one which I'm assuming is the most blunt tip so let me try this on two and see what happens with my other brand new Prisma color I will say though that worked on my Prisma color and it created a beautiful lead <laughs> I mean that is just gorgeous so let me go ahead and try it on this other Prisma color. So I'm going to leave it in here and if it doesn't auto stop, I'm going to stop it myself. It auto stopped. Okay, so it auto stopped on two. So let's go ahead and try this setting on three now. Maybe I had it backwards. So here's another brand new Prisma color that's not been sharpened yet. And we're going to stick this one in here and we're going to see if it auto stops. And it auto stopped oh my goodness okay so my suggestion this is a really good pencil sharpener I really really like that and the lead is absolutely beautiful look at that 
that looks just like as if I would have put it in my doll 133. I absolutely love it. For this one, I would actually leave it on the three, and I think the three is supposed to be the most blunt lead because the other one, let's go ahead and put these next to each other so you could see. So if you were to put this on the one selection, it's going to take away much more of the wood of the pencil. And then this is two, and then this is three where it did not sharpen as much. So you can see here that the lead is much more revealed in the orange and the yellow one and a lot less in the green. So if you're gonna use this for your Prismacolors, I would suggest using the number three setting on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it on my Arteza pencils now. I broke this on purpose <laughs> just because I want to see how it sharpens and really test out the sharpener. So let's go ahead and stick this one in here. Oh, so on the three, it gave us that lead. Look how beautiful that is. Let's go ahead and try the two. And I've got another Arteza pencil and I'm gonna put it in here. We're gonna try the two now. And it did auto stop. So I'm assuming when I put my Prismacolor in the first time and I had it on the one, it just was not ready to stop. But one would probably not be a good choice, but look at that beautiful lead. This is two. And then do I have one more Arteza? I do have one more Arteza. Let's go ahead and put it on one and check this out. And that is one. <laughs> so here are the three different LEDs. And looking at these, I'm probably going to keep my pencil sharpener with every one of my pencils. I'm probably going to keep it on the three. So I'm going to put it back on the three because on the one, it just, I don't know, it makes me nervous. <laughs> so we're going to try this on the square brute funer now, and we're going to see what it does on the three. Okay, and it auto stopped, and we have a beautiful lead. But if you grab this pencil sharpener for yourself, I definitely suggest to leave it on the three and not put it on the one because, I don't know, the one just made me kind of nervous. <laughs> but it does work well on the Brute Funer, so it will take the other um, shaped pencil. Let's go ahead and see how we are going to open this. So it opens like this. Oh, that is so easy. That Aphmat one that I have, I was just not really happy with that because it is such a pain to open. I know so many people love it. I just really did not care for it. And the auto stop just really didn't it never ever worked for me. Okay, so you can see we've got lots of beautiful shavings in there. So you would just take the top off and you would um, dump out your shavings. Okay, so this part here does disconnect from the sharpener. I don't wanna do it here because I'm sitting at my desk and if I do that, I'm going to have sharpener pieces everywhere. But I did test this out earlier and it does come right off. Maybe I could show you a little bit without <laughs> without making a mess, but you could see that it comes off very, very easily and then it just goes back in place very, very easily. So you could either hold it over the trash can and dump it like this, or you could take the whole thing off. And the directions do give you very, very thorough directions to be able to remove the blade and replace it after it becomes dull. But with this one, you will get up to 5,000 or more sharpens. So that is really, really great. And then this top just goes back on like this and twist on so easily. So as far as sharpeners, or as far as electric sharpeners, I do really like this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test out this smaller sharpener now. Now I did plug this in here. So I've got the USB plugged in and I've got it down, I've got it plugged down under my desk into the USB cord. And so let's go ahead and see if that works. Okay, so that works. I don't wanna demonstrate the pencils yet. I just wanted to make sure that all of the ways that you could charge this do definitely work so that I could show you all the features of the sharpener. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this just for now. And then I've got four uh, AA batteries here. 
and I want to see how easy this is to do. Okay, so you just pull that compartment out and then it is really self-explanatory here and tells you where to put the positive and the negative. So positive side of my battery and the negative side of my battery and then this is a positive and this is a negative. Okay, so after you've got all four batteries in there, let's see how easily this goes back on. Okay, so it's not so easy. <laughs> oh, so I got two in there. So you have to, okay, so if I just push down right there on that side where that third piece needs to go in, and then I push it down, it does go right in. So let's go ahead and test it and make sure it's working with the batteries in there. Okay, so it also works with the batteries in there. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my polychromos. So I have one of my polychromos here and it looks like it is pretty dull. So let's go ahead and switch this here to the dullest setting. And this one is supposed to have auto stop as well. And it says that this one can take anywhere from six to eight millimeter pencils, whereas the other one will take anywhere from six millimeters to 12 millimeters. So let's go ahead and put this in here and I'm going to allow it to, <laughs> I'm scared you all. I'm going to allow it to auto stop on my polychromos. <laughs> Okay, and it worked, it auto stopped. So that is the lead that you get on the first one. And then I'm going to put it to the second one, which would be a medium lead. And let me see, I have another polychromos. Let me go ahead and put that in there. And it auto stopped. Okay, so let's see the difference between those two. So that was the one and then that was the two or the medium. And I don't see that much more of a difference. I guess actually if you look really closely, the lead is a little bit sharper on this one and a little bit more blunt on that one. Okay, so I have one more green polychromos and we are gonna put this on the third setting and I'm gonna let it auto stop. <laughs> Oh, look at that beautiful lead. Let me see if there is a difference. These first two, if I'm looking at them really closely, I don't know, they look very much the same. But this one here is the third setting, which would be the sharpest. But I think this was the first. So I think this one was the first, this one was the second, and then this one was the sharpest. So most blunt and then medium and then the sharpest lead. And they did all auto stop, which is really good. But there's a little bit of a difference, but it's not that much of a difference. But the auto stop feature does work. So it's a pretty good little sharpener and it did really well with my polychromos. So let's go ahead and try to test out the square brute fooners. So I've got a couple square brute fooners here and I think I'm just gonna leave it on the most blunt just because I wanna test this out and see if it will work with the square pencils. And you could see that I totally broke this just so I could test the pencil sharpener. Okay, and we cannot use any other shape pencil on this pencil sharpener because this one you can see is not even going in it. This pencil sharpener is not going to be good for your square brute fooner, but you can definitely use the square brute fooner on this pencil sharpener. Okay, so the pencils that are most important to me as far as finding a good electric pencil sharpener are my Prisma colors because you know how easily the Prisma colors break and how sensitive they are. So I would like to try my Prisma colors out on this sharpener too to see how well it works. So let's go ahead again and we will start on the most blunt and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here and I'm going to see if it will auto stop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just wasn't ready. Let's keep trying it. Okay, so it did auto stop. And that one definitely looks more blunt. Definitely, definitely looks more blunt 
than it did on when I tried out the polychromos. So the orange was number one. Now we're going to put it on the medium setting. Okay, so that is number two. So that's the difference in those two. And it does look a little bit sharper, but the difference is not huge. So let's go ahead and put it on three. And so that is the third. Okay, so this is the first, this is the second, and this is the third. And I don't know, they all pretty much look almost the same. This one here has a little bit of a flatter tip, but I mean, you really cannot tell the difference. You really, really cannot. And I feel like it's that way on both sharpeners. Okay, so to open this one, let's see how easily this one opens when you're gonna need to empty it. Okay, so to open it, you need to just push in a little bit and then the top will come off and then you could just empty the inside. But I'm gonna put that right back on because <laughs> I don't want that all over my desk and I need to empty it in the trash can. But this one does not have the replaceable blade, whereas this one over here, you are going to be able to replace the bit blade. So let's talk about some of the differences in these pencil sharpeners. So as far as the auto stop, they both worked and they both worked pretty well. And if you don't want to use the auto stop feature and you just want to sharpen your pencils, they did do a really good job of sharpening your pencils and you could just pull them out whenever you want to. You don't necessarily have to use the auto stop, but that is a feature that I feel like is a lot is very important to a lot of us. So I really wanted to be able to test that out. It did not cause any of my pencils to break. They both do have that auto eject feature, but on this one, if you look at the bottom here, it has this little button here where you would have to push it to auto eject anything that may be stuck. And for this one, it is supposed to automatically eject it on its own. And on both of them, this one's on the side and this one is to the front, but they both have the three different settings. So this one is just labeled as one, two, and three. And then this one just has the little pictures of the points. This one has the pictures of the points, the more blunt and the sharper, but it also has the one, two, and three. As far as being able to take off the containers, this one is much easier. It just lifts up. You could also untwist this, take it off and empty it if you wanted to. This one you got, you have the um, replaceable blades and it comes with the directions to show you exactly how to replace the blades. This one here, um, it does have this little slide back here that I guess is supposed to be some kind of safety feature but it slides back and forth so easily that I don't really see, like even if your kids were in here and playing and you were you wanted that safety feature there just to cover up where you could stick your pencil, I don't really see the benefit that this is going to be just because it slides back and forth so easily. As far as the way both of these feel, this one feels very plasticky and it does feel much cheaper, although it works very, very well and is very small. If you didn't have a lot of space, you may wanna go with this one. This one is a lot bigger, a lot bulkier. You're gonna have a lot more space to be able to contain your shavings and it just performed much, much better. But of course it is more expensive where it is $21.59 as opposed to this one that is only $13.99. So in a case where you get what you pay for, this would be one of those cases because I really feel like this one has many more features as far as plugging it in. It does not have the batteries but you have the lithium battery that is rechargeable, and so I really, really like that feature. And when I plug this one into my computer, it definitely charged it. When I plugged this one into the same computer, it did not charge it, but when I plugged it into my main computer and the USB over there, it did work to where it was actually working. But when I tried to do it the same way that I did this one, it would not work. 
So I don't know if that has something to do with this one having an Android port as opposed to this one not having the Android port. I don't know if, you know, I don't know enough about that to be able to say. So when I tried to open the compartment on this one, it took me a little bit to figure it out, but it is pretty easy to where you just push this in and it pulls out. But this one is much, much easier and much more convenient. And you could take the entire um, blade out and you could replace the blade. This one you're gonna get 5,000 plus um, sharpenings. This one you're gonna get 3,000 plus sharpenings. And this one was a little bit more difficult to be able to open the container. And you cannot replace the blade as far as I know in this one. Hi everyone, so I'm coming in here after already having done the review and the demonstration and everything of the Jarling pencil sharpeners, but these are the two pencil sharpeners that I've been reviewing and I wanted to come in here and just talk about them just a little bit more because I have gotten the last few days to just use them. Now, I made a goal for myself because I never get to just sit in color unless I'm doing a tutorial or making a video. And so I said, you know what? You're gonna sit and start coloring. So I started bringing my coloring to my bed. And so I've been using my bedside or my nightstand to put all of my things. So I've been working in Romantic Country and this is the first tale. This is one of my favorite coloring books. <laughs> I have been working on this page here and I've just been trying to make realistic grass and I love the way that it is turning out. <laughs> I have the other side to do. It's taken me quite a few hours to do this. So these are the colors that I've been using to create what I would call grass. <laughs> And you need quite a few colors. You have to use quite a few colors. You need your highlight colors, your darker colors, and a mix of colors. So I've got a couple colors that have different undertones so that when they layer over one another, it looks like what would be grass or more realistic grass. But I'll let you take a look at this again. And I'm really having a lot of fun doing this. But as you know, to be able to do that, the Prisma colors are really, really soft. And so I need to keep a really sharp lead. And so I have to have my pencil sharpener right next to me and it has just made it so much more convenient because I don't have to grab my doll 133 and bring it to my bedside or whatever and then crank it and you know, it takes two hands, but Trust me, I will never be getting rid of this thing. I love this thing. This is my absolute favorite pencil sharpener and it always will be. But right now, I just need convenience. And like I said in the review part of my video, I've been having some pains in my hands right here all through my thumb and my uh, first finger or my forefinger. What do you call this finger? My pointer finger. <laughs> So I needed something that was not gonna be causing me pain. And so I have been using this one quite a lot. And I wanna get a pencil that, I think these are all freshly sharpened. It sharpened all of these to a beautiful, beautiful tip. If you can see that, they're gorgeous. I love the tip that it gives them. But I like it as long as I'm using this on the three setting. So if I'm using this on anything other than the three setting, it will um, sharpen my Prisma colors way more than I want it to. And on the three setting, I find that it's absolutely perfect. So let me find something or a pencil that is a little bit more dull in here. Okay, so I grabbed a pencil that is a little bit less or a little bit more dull. So you can see the lead on this one. And I just wanna show you how good this pencil sharpener works. So I am going to just stick this in here and watch how well this auto stop works. Like I was totally blown away. And it just stops. And then I have the perfect lead. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. So yeah, I really, really love this one. And as far as this one goes, let me show you these as far as size. Now, 
when it comes to both of these pencil sharpeners, it really is all about having something that's a little bit more convenient. And because my hand has been hurting so bad, it's made it difficult for me to use my doll. I love, love this doll sharpener and I will never ever get rid of this doll sharpener. It has literally saved my Prismacolors. <laughs> but we all know that it is a crank and it takes two hands to be able to do it because you've got to pull this part out, then you've got to insert the pencil. You have to hold it here, hold it here with this hand and then you have to crank it with the other hand to sharpen your pencils. So, <laughs> So, I just want to show you these two as far as size. So, these are right about the same size. And this one, the auto stop feature on it works really well too. But this one feels quite a bit more just, I don't know. This one feels plasticky, but it feels uh, more heavy duty than this one does. So, if we're talking about quality, this one works really well but it does not feel as heavy duty as this one here. Like as we, if I'm holding both of these in my hands, this one and the quality of this one feels like it far exceeds this one, but you are gonna pay more for this one here. And this one I find works very well to keep right here on my desk. And then this one works just as good. Of course, you have to put batteries in the bottom of it so that it could work for you or plug it in, but this one is great for my bedside because I've been bringing my coloring every single night while I work on this grass on this page. I've been bringing this pencil sharpener every single night with me and resting it on my bedside. And it is just really, really convenient because I just have to stick my pencil in there and it goes and it sharpens and it's done. <laughs> and so I really love it for convenience, I really do. And it doesn't take up a bunch of space on my bedside. So if you were trying to choose between this one or this one and you want a good quality electric sharpener, they both serve a different purpose. They do both work just as good, but as far as deciding which one you want, I like each one of these for different reasons. So this one I like to keep at my bedside, this one I like to keep at my desk. They're both, they're really good pencil sharpeners and I never thought that I would find a pencil sharpener that I actually liked. <laughs> and so I'm just really excited that I finally found one. And I know that companies all the time, like I get emails all the time from companies saying, will you, you know, share this or make a video for this or collaborate with us? And a lot of times I'm just kind of like, you know, I, I don't know, like most of them I don't even answer because it's something that has nothing at all to do with my channel or something that I don't want to promote on my channel. And I really usually only bring things to my channel that I think that I will really like. And this one I was hesitant with because I was not an electric pencil sharpener type of girl. I was all about my Dell 133 and I still am. But I know that a lot of you have issues with your hand. When I finally started having issues with my hand, it made a huge difference. And so I really needed to be able to find something that was going to work better for me. So it just happened to be at the right time. So I was like, yeah, go ahead and send them. And I figured if I made sure that they knew that if I did not like them, I was going to, you know, make sure that I gave an honest review. And I'm actually really surprised because... I like them <laughs> and I've tried other electric pencil sharpeners and I've actually sent them back to Amazon because they were not going to work for me and I have the Afmat one that I showed you in the earliest part of the video and I kept that one just because my kids need to sharpen pencils and such and I didn't have an electric pencil sharpener in the house but I wasn't going to use it for my colored pencils and so I was still on the search for a colored pencil or a you know, electric pencil sharpener to sharpen my color pencils. And so I really like this one right here, I'm a little obsessed with just because it, the auto stop works and that's exciting for me. And I have not had any breakage with my Prisma colors using this one at all. And I've not had any breakage with this one either, but I don't very often go and sit in my bed in color. So I, for me, if I was choosing between the two of them, I would prefer this one just because for me, I sit here in my office 
most of the time, either I'm filming a video or I sit here to color and I usually color during the day. So for me, I would prefer this one and I would pick this one if I was choosing between the two, but of course that's my personal preference. And I would probably, if I was spending more time in my bed, maybe I will in the future here, now that I have this little handy dandy pencil sharpener, and I've set this goal of making sure that I take time to myself and actually color uh, without filming myself. <laughs> Maybe I will start using this one a lot more, and if I do, I will keep you updated on this one. But I've been using this one much more, and I really love this one. So I just wanted to update y'all and let you know since I've had some time to be able to actually use these pencil sharpeners and color by myself. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity because you know when you are creating something like grass, you have to always have a very sharp lead. <laughs> and so y'all need to let me know too if you want me to show you a tutorial for how I did this because it was actually kind of saving the other side of the page in case I wanted to come back and do a tutorial because I started doing this grass and I really didn't know what I was gonna do with it in the beginning. And I actually got out my fine liners. And so I would love to now do a fine liner tutorial and show you how I did that because this is actually a mix of fine liners. Here, let me hold it up one more time. But this is actually a mix of fine liners and colored pencils. And I thought it turned out really cool. I'll turn it back and forth like this. I don't know how my lighting is. Maybe I could hold it a little closer, but you can see on the other side of the page what it did look like. Like it's pretty much, I made grass from nothing. <laughs> from just like white space. So that is my grass and I love the way it turned out. The only thing now is I'm trying to decide what color I'm gonna color the leaves and such so that they really stand out. But if you wanna see a tutorial on that, let me know. And I just wanted to let y'all know that I really do love that pencil sharpener. <laughs> And I will have the links down in the description box below for both of these pencil sharpeners in case you decide you want to grab one for yourself. But this one I'm a little obsessed with. <laughs> I really am. I love this one. So if you would like to pick one up for yourself, make sure you check the description box down below. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.